has been planted. Hello and welcome to the channel. I just want to point out a couple of things before this video series starts, so here they are. I have been wanting to make some gaming related YouTube content for some time now, but just couldn't find anything relevant as there are millions of gaming videos out there already, so I could not make anything new about it. Then I just decided to take a less popular approach on content creation. So I will attempt to make a brand new CSGO competitive map and I will document every single step I take to do it. Just as a disclaimer, I am not an expert in Hammer Editor, nor am I a level designer. I just do this as a hobby in my free time, so please don't treat these videos as tutorials. Throughout this entire process, I will be learning stuff and it might get bumpy down the road, so bear with me and any kind of help or critique is definitely welcome, so feel free to pitch in in the comment sections. For the first video, I just want to lay out some steps that I think are relevant for the creation process, so let's just go through them. First of all, I think that creating a map has three main phases. Phase one would be just creating a basic layout and player paths, including the blocking in of the map with no texture, of course, inside Hammer Editor. Phase 2, gameplay testing, just to make sure everything is working and there are no gameplay errors. Of course, all of this just done on a basic map with no textures on it. Phase 3, visuals and development, which is the fun part where it all needs to be textured and brought to life. In the first batch of videos, I will go through phase 1 and start, of course, with the first step, which I think should be map analysis and research. In this step I will take a look at all the maps in the competitive pool and try to figure out why they are good and what makes them work. In the second step, which is map paths and sketching, I will just sketch out basic layout of the new map based on the conclusions of step one. In the third step, I will take that layout and translate it into Hammer by drawing out a basic layout out of just some simple blocks. And in the fourth and final step I will populate that layout with basic blocks and make the map playable of course. This final step concludes phase one and hopefully playtesting can begin. And I hope I will have your support in doing so. In playtesting I would need all the feedback I can get to make it perfect. Last but not least I want to thank 3ClicksPhilip and Warawo for their amazing content that inspired me to do this. Please check them out if you have not done so already. So this is the end of the first video, so thanks for watching and remember to like and subscribe to stay up to date with all future videos.